Hey, Divi Nation, thanks for dropping by our documentation to learn all about Divi's countdown timer module. Now, this is an excellent module for any time that you want to promote an event or a launch or anything that is uh, impending or counting down. So uh, the timer module is incredibly easy to configure. And because of all the awesome design settings we've worked in, it's also really easy to get really sleek, compelling designs too. And we're going to show you how to do all of that in this video. Check it out. In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of Divi's countdown timer module. The countdown timer module creates a visual timer that counts down to a specific date. This is great for creating anticipation on a new product, a service, or an event. And it does this simply by letting visitors know the exact day of the launch or the event. Simply set the date and time that you want to count down to and then wait for that big day. It would even be a great way to highlight a limited time deal on a checkout page and increase conversions that way. And when combined with a blank page like what you see here, it could be used as a great coming soon landing page or a maintenance mode page. Let's go ahead and jump in and take a closer look at the countdown timer. Uh, first, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to add one to your page. And then I'm going to go over the settings so you can see how simple it is to customize it for your own website. So I'm using the visual builder here and I have a regular section with a couple of rows here and then a couple of modules. But right in the middle here, I have a row with my countdown timer module. I'm going to go ahead and hover over it and I'm going to delete it just so you can see how easy it is to add it to your own page. So uh, just find the spot that you want to add it and Go ahead and hover and just like any other module, click to add a new one and then search for the countdown timer. Once you find it, click on it. And the first thing you'll notice is that we have this blue background color to my countdown timer here. And that is because it's pulling from the global accent color that you have set in theme customizer. Um, and you may want to keep that, but for this style, I'm going to actually get rid of my background color. So that'll be the first thing I do in the countdown timer settings under my content tab. I'm going to go down here to my background option. And this is where you can add your own background color or gradient image, video, whatever. Uh, but you can also just click to disable your background color. There you go. So that looks good. Let's go ahead and back up to my text settings. And this is kind of the main place where you're going to add your title and then configure your timer. So uh, the, the title, uh, you may want to um, put something like uh, site launches in, and this is basically your call to action, telling your visitors what you're counting down to. Uh, this is not to be confused with this example. I have a, you know, a mock, uh, custom title section using a text module up there, which is also an option. All right, so underneath your countdown timer title, you have this option to set the date, hour, and minute uh, that you want to count down to. And so uh, you have this convenient calendar here where you can scroll through your different months and then select the date that you want and then go ahead and configure your time by setting the hour and the minutes. Once you've settled on a time and you're ready to go on, uh, just keep in mind that it will continue to count down uh, without you having to do anything else to it. And when it finishes, it's just going to simply display as all zeros uh, when the timer is done. Let's go to our design tab and let's go through some of our options that we have. So the first option um, allows me to display a dark or a light version of my text, which is convenient. Set my orientation of my text. Give it a shadow if I like. This title text section 
refers to this title text that we entered right here. You can customize that by default. It is an H4 title. You can change that. Um, and you can change uh, your fonts, weights, styles, sizes, all that stuff. Maybe I want to increase my font size a little. And let's give it a color. Give it an orange. Let's go ahead and go down to our numbers text. This refers to the numbers uh, within the actual timer that's counting down. And let's go ahead and customize that. Let's give it a custom font here. Let's give it this Acme font. And let's go ahead and let's increase the size a little bit. Just a, a, a word of warning here. Uh, whenever you're making your adjustments, especially when you're making the text size really big, you're going to want to make sure and test it um, so that it works on uh, all different kinds of sizes and devices, uh, browser sizes, that is, um, because you want to make sure that this timer doesn't get broken on a very small column. So keep that in mind whenever you're adjusting your settings. Um, I think it works best actually on a one column full width, you know, uh, row here. So that it has room to function. All right, let's go on. The numbers text color can be uh, changed. I'm going to change it to the orange as well. All right, and let's keep going down. And the label text can also be customized. The label text refers to this text right underneath the numbers here. Uh, the day, hour, minute, and second text is our label. And we can change that as well. Maybe I want to make it a little bigger. Just bear in mind, again, not to make it too big so that it starts overlapping or breaking. Um, let's go ahead and go down to our other options that we have. Uh, this is our sizing option. We can change the width of our module. Again, you don't want to make it too small because it'll start overlapping. You need uh, space for everything to display nicely. You can add some custom margin and custom padding to your module here to give it some additional spacing around it. Another good option would be a border. Um, let's say I wanted to add a border. I'll just increase the width here. And by default, it'll be this you know, dark um, black shade of a border. Uh, let's go ahead and make it a light color here. And then let's take down the opacity so that we can you know, match the design a bit better. And let's go ahead and increase our border width a little bit more. And this will be a good time to actually go back and give me or give the module some spacing. I'm just going to add 30 pixels of padding. All right, so that looks good. You can also add some box shadow to this module. And it's a subtle uh, change, but it does add a little depth, making it pop up. You've got many versions of Box Shadow to choose from and all the options here to customize it. You could also add an animation to kind of make it stand out to your visitors. And in the Advanced tab, you have the option of adding some unique CSS IDs and classes uh, to target this module from an external style sheet if you wanted to do that. It's also an option to add some, you know, custom CSS inside these boxes directly and essentially targeting each of these elements within the module. Like timer section, for example, can be targeted and this CSS added here will only apply to that element. The visibility option allows you to disable or hide this module on phone, tablet, or desktop, or all of them. The last thing I want to point out is that 
whenever you set your date and time, um, it is important to understand what time zone uh, is being used. So in order to find that out, if you don't know, um, just go ahead and click on this like helper icon here. And you can see that there's a, you know, a, a reminder of where you can go to find that. And that is in your WordPress general settings. There's a link here. You can click on it. And that'll bring you to your general settings um, in your WordPress dashboard here. And then you can scroll down and find your time zone, which is set here. And that's your overview of the countdown timer module.